Welcome to Blue Box PHP Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to demonstrate how to create a sign-in box and set security, set uh, secure settings for pages, boxes and individual items. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just load a project. If this project has a database with four tables in it and we have one index page that has two data boxes in it. If we just preview the current page, we see we've just got customers and orders table. Okay, so the first thing, if we look at our tables, you can see we don't currently have an admin user table that has our usernames, emails, passwords, etc. So we're actually going to import a table that uh, is in the, currently in our uh, blue box PHP templates directory. So if we select our database node and right click we can see run SQL file. If we select that in our blue box PHP blue box PHP directory in templates you'll see database and then MySQL and you'll see admin users.sql. If you save that and open first let ask do we need to make any change to the project well, we haven't made any changes yet, so we'll skip the initial save. <coughs> the project now tries to reload, finds our new table, uh, finds that we've uh, noticed that we've got changes to the database structure and just wants to save and reload for the changes. So we go OK. And we can now see we have a new table added to our tables, admin users. If we open that and just view our data box, you can see we've got four uh, fields, columns, username, email, password and secure level and we have three users. We've got an admin user, somebody at level 10 and somebody at level 5. Okay, so now we have our admin users table in the project. The next thing we want to do is actually create a sign-in page. So we select the website node, right click and select new page. In our create new page editor, we're going to select the empty page and we're going to give it a page name of sign underscore in and select OK. We see now we have our sign in page created. And the next thing we're going to do is select our sign in boxes node and right click and select new sign-in. This is our creates a new sign-in box so we'll give the box a name sign sign in and here we have to tell the sign-in box which fields uh, is required and which table which fields required that has our admin uh, user information. So our database table is admin users, the one we've just added the username column, username for our table, password column is password and the level column is level. We're not going to select MD5 encoded because uh, our passwords aren't but we're going to tell it that on signing in we, which page we want to go to and on signing in we want to go to the index page and when we sign out we want to go back to the sign in page. So we select OK. We now have a new sign in box that's been created. If we now select this box, we just need to tell Internet Explorer that um, <coughs> we want to allow this block content. It's just an ActiveX control. And we can see, we can select which sign in box type we want. We'll just keep to the standard Blue Box PHP one template for this. There's a, you may also find additional sign-in templates on blueboxphp.com. So we can see here's the information we've already set up. And on the right here, there's some user customizable fields that we can change, but we won't bother changing anything for our current view. Okay, so we now want to drag and drop our sign-in box into our empty box div. So 
left click, drag, and once we're hovering over the empty div, release the left mouse button, and that now adds a sign in box. When, we're, when we've added sign in boxes, it's preferable to actually refresh the whole website for the first pass than, it, than refresh individual pages because all the pages have to be rebuilt for the sign in box to take effect. So we'll refresh website. Now if we now select the sign in box, we'll rebuild the sign in box. Okay, that's great. And again the index box. Okay, now our sign in page has been created and seems to be active. We now need to add security settings to some of our pages, boxes and items. So we'll start with our index page. If the node isn't already selected, then select it and go to the page editor tab. Here you'll see secure page. We select the secure page to activate it. We need to select which is a sign in box, which is our sign in box. We need to tell it when it's not signed in which page we want it to go to and we want it to go to the sign in page. So this page will um, we'll leave it a secure uh, setting for now of level 10. So the index page, to actually view the index page, we now have to have a secure level of 10 with a sign in box uh, and, and if not it goes to the, if we're not signed in, it goes to the sign in page. In fact what we'll do for this, just for the page general itself, we'll actually drop secure down to 5. If we now rebuild the index page, as you can see we can't view it at the moment because we're not signed in so we've been passed straight to the sign in page. Okay, so we'll now test our sign in. We do have a level 5 user. If we if we actually go back to admin users and look at the data box, we have a username at level 5, password level 5, and it gives us level 5 for test. And we'll go back to the browser and we'll enter in. Uh, even though this says email, it's the it's actually looking for the email, it's looking for the user for the username. If we just go back to the signing box we can see we've told it the field is username and not email. In fact so there's no confusion we'll just test this to username refresh the website okay so username is level 5 password is level 5 and we sign login no, don't have passwords. Okay, so we've signed in and as expected we've been sent to the index page. What we can't do at the moment is actually to sign out. So we'll change that now. Selecting our sign in box. If we now left click and drag it into the header of the index page. Open that. If we now select the sign in box and right click and what we want to do is use sign out HTML and if we now rebuild the index page you can say just here we have a sign out tag and if we click that and sign out then we sign out and go back to Libbox PHP. So we now sign in again level 5 level 5 login and we're taken to the index page Okay, on our administration pages we may not want all our data boxes or data tables to be displayed. So what we're going to do is at this point now we're going to set our secure settings for the orders box. So if we minimize admin users, go to the orders box and select data box. We can see here on this line here set box security. So first we have to tell it which signing box it's using and it's using the sign in box and which secure level and for this we're going to set this as a secure level of 10 so if, you sa so if we now refresh the website you can see we have customers but we don't have the orders box but if we sign out and then sign in as level 10 and password the same level 10 and log in 
we can now see all orders tables back. So if we sign in, if anybody signs in with a secure level below level 10, they won't see the orders box. <coughs> They'll only see the customers box. If anybody signs in with level 10 and above authority, they'll see both boxes. Now as well as securing boxes we can also secure certain items. So if we look at our customers box, close this, open our customers box, open the customers data box. If we look at our credit limit, we may not want our credit limit viewable to anybody below level 15. So if we set credit limit, this opens our item editor. On the tabs here if we select security again we tell it which sign in box sign in box on what level we want the security setting to and we'll set this to secure level 15 if we now refresh the website we can now see we no longer see the credit limit column we can only see the customer reference the name and the address we can also do this for the add this is the add uh, icon this is the edit and delete icons. We can do the same for them. So we'll set the add icon, security, sign in, and level 15. The edit icon, security box, level 15, and the delete icon, sign in box, and level 15. And if we now refresh the website, you can see that. <coughs> we can no longer add new customers, we can no longer edit new customers. We can still, with multi, delete delete new customers. We now come down to our content box, our customers, and uncheck use multiple select and refresh the website. Okay, so now we can export a customer's uh, uh, comma separated uh, values to an XML file we can view our customer's details but we can no longer add edit or delete because we're only signed in at level 10 if we now sign out again and sign in as admin admin is, is default for this admin table which gives us level 20 authorization so we sign as admin and log in we can now see we have our credit limit column back, we have our edit, delete and add columns back. Okay, so we'll just save our project. Okay, so that uh, concludes this tutorial on signing pages and secure, securing pages, boxes and individual items.